Hello guys, my name is Milvi and welcome to the Tipster Boy YouTube channel. This channel is mainly going to be focusing on football and basketball bets. Depending on how well it goes and depends how much you want to see, I will post my own bets on daily or maybe even a weekly basis, depending on how um, people want to see it. But just before we actually get into this video, I want to let you know, please gamble responsibly. Gambling can be addiction and it can be dangerous. So if you are someone who may struggle with gambling, you might just want to watch this video and not actually follow and do what I'm about to do or what I'm going to do in the future. So I want to kick off my first ever episode with a completed 10 to 100 pound betting challenge that I've done over the last pretty much 24 hours. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you on the screen my, my six bets that got me from 10 to 100 pounds with the first bet being a bet on Cagliari and Benevento. As you can see on the screen, um, it is very low odds bet just because I, I want to be on the safe side. So as you can see, I went with over zero cards, over zero cards for the other team as well and over two corners in the first half. That came in pretty much pretty easy. I think it came in with the first 35 minutes or so. Um, the whole purpose of this challenge is that um, I'm not going to go for huge accumulators or high odd bets just because I want to make sure that I'm kind of just getting these challenges in and out um, as much as possible. So that's the first bet now. When we go on to the second bet, I kind of went pretty much for the same approach for the other game. Again, um, over zero cards for both teams and over two corners. Once again, that came up, that came in, I think, in the first half an hour. So that's pretty much pretty straightforward, pretty easy. And by this point, we already have £20 and 23p. With bet three, um, this is a bit of a silly one usually. I wouldn't normally do this, but when I saw the score at half time, um, it was 2 0. I decided that there's no way that some door is going to keep a clean sheet. So I thought it'd be a good idea to actually put, even even though it only made me just over four pounds, I knew that it's going to be a safe bet. I knew it was going to come in and it's something that I probably wouldn't want in the future, but I just, I was really confident and that's why I've done it. Now, when we're going to bet four, that's where, as you can see, that's already when we're already on bet four and we're already betting about 25 pounds. You can kind of see how the compound, um, the compound is adding up. And actually, with this bet, I decided to go with over one cards for Spezia. And because of how bad Napoli are sometimes at winning games, I don't know, a lot of people suffer from them and because Napoli are usually less than down, I decided to go with um, over one goals for both teams combined. And actually, Napoli did go on to lose the game 2-1, I remember. But yeah, as you can see, by the end of bet four, we have already won £38.87. And then with bet five, this is a bit of a different one. I went for a low odd, um, well, three different matches accumulator. So I went with, all of them were over zero cards. So for Atletico, um, Atletico Bilbao, sorry, Barcelona, AC Milan, Juventus, Man United, Man City. And actually I did actually get really lucky because I remember um, AC Milan did get a card in the 90th minute. So I guess I got a bit of luck there. And then for the last and final bet, I decided to bet on basketball this morning. Um, actually, the Chinese basketball league is actually a really good place to bet and find value. So what I did is that actually what I did first, when I cashed out um, out of the bet five, when I took the money out, which was £69.97p, I decided to withdraw £15. So that means that even if the last bit loses, I'm still five pounds plus plus, and I still have the ten pounds that I originally started with. So this bet, this final bet, is pretty much a no risk bet to me because I wasn't going to lose out any money anyways, apart from the money I already won. So as you can see, I put down fifty four pounds ninety seven on Shenzhen Aviators to win, and I actually cashed out for one hundred and one pounds. About with, with about six minutes left in the fourth quarter, just because I couldn't be bothered to watch it and didn't want to, there wasn't a point of risking three quid for what could happen in six minutes of basketball. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my first ever 
10 to 100 pound challenge completed on this channel i have done in the past and please let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future please press the like and subscribe button down below and thank you for watching see you soon